hey guys uh, welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how you can choose a proper hsv range from an image using opencv so let's begin so this is the image that we'll be using for this tutorial and uh, from this image we'll try to uh, mask the red color from this demo fish okay so let's get to the coding part so first we're gonna import some libraries namely cv2 numpy matplotlib and we'll be using this colors function from matplotlib and we'll also be using a 3d access plot for figuring out the hsv range values so we'll be needing this as well next we'll load our nemo1.png image and uh, after that we'll convert it into an rgb color space because matplotlib uses rgb color space so hence we'll be converting this from bgr to rpg as uh, opencv uses bgr color image format okay so let's try to print the shape of our image so you can see our image has 700 rows 916 columns and uh, three channels okay so next we'll try to get the number of pixels from our image so uh, here we'll multiply the rows with the columns okay that is uh, the height of the image with the width of the image we'll keep the uh, number of channels that, as it is and here we'll try to just print the pixel colors and try to you know, get its shape so let's see what do we get so here you can see the original shape of the image this is our uh, pixel colors matrix and this is the shape of the numpy array after multiplying the rows with columns after that we'll try to normalize the color that we imported from matplotlib in this range and uh, so this auto scale function is used for setting the min max value of this uh, norm variable to the according to the min and max value of the alpha channel alpha channel of an image and uh, after that we'll apply this norm uh, function on the pixel colors and then we'll convert it into a list we'll be using this pixel colors variable in our scatter plot function that i'll be showing you in a moment after that we'll convert the original image into into hsv format and then we'll try to split our hsv image and then we'll try to flatten you know each uh, channel okay so let's see how it looks like so this is a flattened hue channel which we just printed so flattening basically means converting rows and columns into a single row okay like a list and then we we'll finally plot a 3d plot since it's a 3d projection so we'll be using this uh, argument projection equals to 3d and uh, we'll be using scatter plot which will be having three axes one for hue one for saturation and another one for value okay and the colors that we'll be using on the scatter plot will vary according to the pixel colors which we had uh, you know defined above over here the normalized pixel colors okay and uh, for displaying a scatter plot we'll be using dot as a marker which is most commonly used okay and then we'll uh, set the label x is for hue y is for saturation and z is for value okay after that we'll finally uh, see a plot okay so let's see how it looks So you'll have to double tap and you know try to adjust the plot to get a proper view of each axis separately so first we'll have a look at hue so what is hue basically hue basically just contains color information of an image so here you can see uh, there are there's a little red color little more darker version of red color and uh, you know blue color a little bit of purple and uh, yep that's pretty much we don't see any 
other color we can't see say for example much of yellow color over here okay so this is the color information that we are getting from the image if you open our image so let's say we just want the you know reddish or orangish color from this part okay so for here we can set the minimum value to 0 and maximum value to let's say 10 since uh, the hue ranges from 0 to 175 I have to choose a value between it and our red color is lying between 0 to 10 approximately okay so this is the saturation section so saturation basically means how pure a color is so saturation value ranges from 0 to 255 and uh, if you go more towards 0 the color seems faded and the more you go towards 255 the purer the color seems so in our example uh, maybe we can take a value of around 100 or 110 the minimum value and we'll keep the maximum value as 255 okay now uh, let's have a look at value so value also ranges from 0 to 255 just like saturation and the more you go towards 0 the darker or a blacker a color gets and uh, the more you go towards 255 the lighter or a little brighter it gets so for uh, saturation as well we can keep a value of uh, 100 a minimum value of 100 and a maximum value as 255 so basically you you don't have to be precise okay we can just choose an approximate number okay and you'll be fine so these are the range of value that we'll be using so next we'll define a mask color function here we'll set the boundaries as uh, discussed before we'll set the value for you between 0 to 10 for saturation it will be around 110 to 255 for uh, value it will be between 100 and 255 again then we'll convert the you know, boundaries into numpy arrays so we'll use np.array function for converting the list into uh, numpy array and then we'll use the then we'll convert the data type into unsigned 8-bit integers because uh, pixel values ranges from 0 to 255 right so hence we'll be using unsigned 8-bit integers here we'll try to uh, use the in range function for creating a mask so basically what this will do is it will uh, read the image consider the lower and upper part okay this image over here is also HSV and uh, this lower and upper boundaries are also according to the has been chosen according to the HSV values as well okay so whichever pixels will fall in this range those pixels will turn into white color and remaining of the pixels will turn black okay and here we'll try to show our uh, masking result so let's have a look so so this is our output image mass output image and uh, this is our origin original image so here you can see it has masked nearly all of the reddish orange part properly okay if you want it to be a little more accurate you can you know play with the range and see how how the output changes now we want the masked region to have the same color as the original image we can use the bitwise and operation it uh, put this mask and uh, wherever it finds white color that pixel returns the same value as the original image and uh, wherever there is black color the pixel will return black at the output and then since this is a uh, HSV okay we'll convert it into a BGR format so that we can you know view it properly so let's run this output So this is our output this was our original image and you can see it has masked 
the reddish orange part and here we have it so next we'll try to just uh, see whether our mask works on other images of demo as well so I have two more images so let's try on the second one so you can see the same mask works on the other image as well and let's try out the third image so yeah it works here as well you can see if you'll notice all the three images of Nevo have different uh, lighting conditions and this is the advantage of using uh, HSV or other types of color channel so it handles all the lighting conditions well which RGB or BGR can't handle so yeah that's all from my side I hope you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe thank you very much